after ng gown competition or buhol, nangingibabaw siya because of the color sa, ano niya, sa gown. Carvite, Mandawe. Michelle, gumabaw. Okay, okay ra yung gown. Hindi na ko siya bet yung gown. So, okay, okay ra siya. And, kinsa pa? Uh, si Boo, bili kayo ko. Si April Smith, okay ra yung gown. Pero puti raman good siya. Hindi kayo siya maipuan yung emphasize. So, I guess, upat na akong bet na dito ah. Again, that's buhol, Carvite, Ilo Ilo is not good in yung gown for me. Uh, so that's again Bohol, Cavite, Mandawe, and then si April Smith. Let's see in a bit. Five minutes later. And we are back. For the list of our top five, the envelope will be presented by Mr. Alan Ocho, partner of Pag, Flores and Pag sa top five, nasa gitna si Iloilo, then Iloilo Ilo, Ilo will win. Taba? Oo. Oh. Kanya naman ang placing nila. Again, this is in no particular order. Again, pag nasa pangatlo na gitna si tatawagin si Iloilo si then she will win. From Quezon City, Michelle Lava! Michelle will not win. Ilo Ilo. Congratulations to Bohol. Yes. Because ganon kasi yun placing nila. So sina yung panggit git na then. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome here to the final five from Ilo Ilo City. Congratulations! And now it is time for us to find our final contender in our top five. All right, here we go. Uh, I guess it's Misamis. Misamis. Yes. From Paranyaki! Hi, Paranyaki. Congratulations once again to our top five and also just a word to top all five. the candidates. You all did phenomenal. You are all amazing, beautiful, and wonderful women. I'm not sure if you have all the ups and downs, all the trials, the struggles, and the tribulations. I'm not sure if you have all the Miss Universe pattern. But if you have all the five, you will have all the five. 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 Napa mana final? Di sini lah kadung. Lupa kata ibu marah. Jom nana. 
Number Same three, question. Bohol. You're right. So there you have it. Gi announced na guys ang top five. So we got Quezon City, Cavite, Bohol, Iloilo, and Paranaque. All right. Let's see my final round na, which is the final question, and let's check who will excel sa final question. So this is the question and answer portion na. So final question and answer portion. Let's start with you. So your first. Question is actually question number two. You have 30 seconds to answer this question. At the end of 30 seconds, you will hear this. And then right after that, I will ask you the question and I will ask all the other candidates as well. And you have another 30 seconds to answer that as well. Okay? All right. Here we go. Our uh, first question If you are under strict quarantine and isolation, what is the most important mobile app for you and why? The most important app during this whole quarantine was my Bible. Having faith in the midst of this pandemic was very vital to me, not only for my mental health, but also for my sanity. It got me through the toughest of times. I was able to get through others through the toughest of times, and it kept me centered, and it kept me grounded. And that's the most important thing that I would need in a pandemic. Thank you. Thank you very much. Are you ready for your second question? Yes, bring it on! All right, here it comes. This pandemic has made clear our priorities, essential and non-essential. Where do pageants stand in this time of crisis? Time starts now. As we all know, pageants are a very, very inspiring event, not only to the Philippines, but to every country who supports pageantry. It is important to stage a pageant and to show the Philippines that we are much more than our setbacks and our failures, and that we are able to co overcome any adversity. Having a pageant symbolizes hope, and right now on the stage, that is who we are. Thank you. Thank you very much. Nice answer. Michelle Gumabao. So there are two sets of questions. To our next candidate. Hola. So first From question Kajite. and second question. Kimberly Hackinson, aka Billy. Good evening, judges. All right, Billy. I uh, will ask you two questions. You had a chance to pick your question backstage. After 30 seconds, you will hear this, and then I will ask you. Another question. All right, are you ready? Okay. Here's your first question. What advice will you give to a first-time voter for the 2022 elections? We have fought long and hard for our right to suffrage. And this is not something that we should waste. For us to be able to complain and be able to appreciate the things that we have as Filipino citizens we have to vote. We have to participate in selecting our leaders. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, here is your second question. This pandemic has made clear our priorities, essential or non-essential. Where do pageants stand in this time of crisis? Oh, okay. I, gotcha. I am someone who is usually an independent person. But because of this beauty pageant, I realized that I needed to ask for help. That I needed to reach out to people. And same goes for everyone else. To be able to survive something as big as this pandemic, altruism should be practiced and cooperation is always the key. Thank you. Thank you very much. Is that in practice? Go on, cooperation. Kimberly Hackinson. Next up, we shall hear from Pauline Amalinks. So, my two questions are, guys. Hey, Good evening. Good evening again. How are you? Overwhelmed, <laughs> but yeah, all in all, very grateful to be here. Yes, here we go. Now to the final couple questions. I will ask you two questions. One, you pick backstage. After the, you hear 30 seconds, uh, after you talk for 30 seconds, you'll hear this. And then I'll give you another 30 seconds to answer the second question. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready. Your Bring first it on. Question, question, what factors influence you in deciding on what to buy or post online? The factors that help me decide that is basically factors what I want are. to put out there, what I want to show the world about myself, how I want to portray myself. What matters most 
is that we know who we are, that we are true to our authentic selves, and that we always try our best to show and share that to the rest of the world, and hopefully inspire them to do the same. Thank you. Here is your second question. Okay. This pandemic has made clear our priorities, essential and non-essential. Where do pageants stand in this time of crisis? I think pageants are now an amazing platform to show that not our, not all our dreams are, are cancelled. They're just put on hold. And for us, we're lucky that we're still able to make this one dream come true. To stand here, to spread hope, to rally people together in action and conversation and spark change. And together, I'm sure, we can make a positive impact out there on this stage. That is the essence of beauty pageants in the time of the pandemic. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Mahal. Nice to meet you, Alex. 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 Good evening. Good evening, Casey. How are you doing? I'm nervous. <laughs> For everybody. Okay. <laughs> so I will ask you two questions. You're able to choose a number backstage. After you uh, talk for 30 seconds, you will hear this. And then I will ask another question where we receive another 30 seconds. Clear? Alright, here we go. Your first question. If you could create a new paper currency with the image of any Filipino on it, dead or alive, who would it be and why? If I were given the chance, I want to use the face of Miriam Defensor Santiago. Mm. For those who don't know, she was an Ilonga, but what mm. I admired about her is that she used her knowledge, her voice to serve the country. And I want to be somebody like her, somebody who puts her heart, her passion into action. Ah, and no after longer. all, she is the best president that we never had. Okay, it's time for your second question. This pandemic has made clear our priorities, essential or non-essential. Where do pageants stand in this time of crisis? As a candidate, I know I'm not just the face of in the city, but I am here carrying hope and as a symbol of light in the darkest times. And as of the moment, I want to help my community. I want to use my strength to make an impact. And that is the essence of beauty pageant. It gives us the power to make a difference. Mm, okay, good. Okay, the okay, Well said, Ilo Ilo. Did it, sila para question sa first. All right, so we said our final contestant. Paranyake, Maria Isabella Ismael. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. You seem very confident. It might just be my voice. <laughs> okay. Let's see. So I will ask you two questions. You were able to pick a number. Okay, la na yam apil mga nani, no? Taas, atuglawas, bright. Then I will ask you another question. End of 30 seconds, so we'll hear time as well. Are you ready? All right, your first question To a child who has never seen a pageant, how would you describe a beauty queen? I would tell that child that a beauty queen is somebody who is, first and foremost, a human being. She's somebody that is proud of who she is, but most importantly, she is somebody that brings hope. When she wears that crown on her head, it's not just because she's the most beautiful girl in the room, but it's because she's the woman who inspires hope. She's the woman who inspires love and productivity and somebody being authentic. And has made clear our priorities, essential or non-essential. Where do pageants stand in a time of crisis? In my experience with the pandemic and being in one of the most prestigious pageants in the Philippines, 
I've realized that pageants are something that can give Filipinos hope and it's something that can give Filipinos something to look forward to. It's something that we as Filipinos, as a pageant-loving nation, it's something that we're so proud of. It's something that gives us life. And that's the relevance of what the pageant is. We help each other out, we help other people, and we help ourselves grow. We help each other prosper through any negative aspect. Okay. Thank you very much. Round of applause. Thank you. Maria Isabella Estan. Thank you so much. And that concludes the final phase of what must have been the longest journey of our candidates in any local pageant. Actually, in any pageant. So there you have it, guys. Those are the top five questions. So the first round was a question of pinik nila at the backstage. Then the second question was the final uh, question. Yeah, the final question, which is everyone have to answer the question. To our most passionate pageant fans here and abroad, I hope you're all ready because it's now time for us to declare the new Miss Universe Philippines. I would like to call on our official representative from SGV, Sisip Horas and Valayo and company, our official tabulators for the final results of what must have been the toughest and closest competitions we've had in local pageant history. Our fourth runner-up is... Cavite! The third runner-up is... The second runner up is Quezon City. Let me remind you that in case the winner fails to fulfill her duties and obligations, the first runner-up will take over as Miss Universe Philippines. I will announce the name of the winner first. That means the other contender is our first runner-up. Ladies, take a deep breath. It's time for the moment of truth. Miss Universe Philippines 2020 is... Universe Philippines organization to our judges, sponsors, and to all of our phenomenal delegates, our most heartfelt appreciation for all of the support and participation in this year's pageant, Miss Universe Philippines 2020.
Well, there you have it, guys. The winners of Miss Universe 2020. Congratulations to Ilo Ilo for bringing the crown. And good job. You got the best answer naman pala. Kaya ikaw yung nanalo. Alright, until then, this has been your friend Medyo Boy. Kasama natin yung atilis ko dito. Please make sure to subscribe. Click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell above for more videos and para updated ka sa mga latest. Bye for now!